the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Hello, I'm Bob Pattengill, Training Manager for Bosch, and we're here to talk about common rail diesel diagnostics, but we're going to focus on European vehicles. Here we have some OBD2 generic data, and many of you guys may not know this, but OBD2 generic for common rail diesel vehicles is pretty powerful. Let's take a look at this list of parameters and show you what we're capable of doing. So in this particular case, you'll notice that we have vehicle speed, we got engine load, we've got the wideband sensor that's in the after treatment system. We've got our throttle pedal, our fuel rate over here. We've got EGR, uh, boost pressure, the gas temperature sensors, and so on. There's two data parameters on here that are gold. And for many of you guys that have not had a chance to work on Comrail very often, the two that we want to look at are actually fuel rail actual and commanded. So in this particular case, the computer says I would like to have 5200 PSI. And right now at idle, we have 4100 PSI. So quick math tells you we're about 20% off from where we want to be. So part of you would think, okay, shouldn't I have a fall code? Well, let's go back to the capture from the data we have. And you're going to see right over here that we do not have a check engine light on, and there are no DTCs stored. So when you begin diagnosing a common rail system, you want to begin with those two data parameters. And if they're right on the money or within plus or minus 10%, you're kind of in the happy spot. Typically, when you get 25% or greater, some manufacturers, it's just a flat 200 bar. So if I'm off by 200 bar, at any time during my operation, whether it be idle or our way up to high load, then I'm going to set a fault code for the inability to hit the target pressure we want. If it overshoots the pressure, then we're going to have a separate fault code for overpressurization. So those two data parameters are where we want to begin. No matter whether it's a no start or a high end performance problem, get the vehicle started if you can, and then run it at idle, see if they match run it at medium load, see if they match. Then we're gonna go high load, then we're gonna go wide open throttle for 15 to 30 seconds, depending upon where you're at. That will be enough to put us into the 26 to 30,000 PSI or 2,000 bar, if you're looking at from that perspective. 